Did you know India's inflation target of 4% may soon change and it could affect your savings, loans and economic growth? Today we are talking about one of the biggest economic debates happening right now, India's flexible inflation targeting framework and why the RBI is rethinking the inflation target of 4% plus or minus 2%. This might sound, uh, sound technical, but trust me, it directly impacts your savings, your loans, your business and India's economic growth. The RBI's current inflation targeting framework is ending in March 2026 and a fresh review is underway. To guide this, the RBI recently published a detailed discussion paper raising some very, uh, very important questions. What kind of inflation should we target? What is an acceptable level of inflation? And what should uh, the inflation band be? First, why do we control inflation at all? High inflation reduces your purchasing power, meaning your money buys less. And worse, inflation is like a regressive tax. It hurts poorer households far more than rich households. High and volatile inflation discourages savings, distorts investments and reduces economic stability. So controlling inflation is a core function of monetary policy. But the challenge is what exactly should we target? Should the RBI target head a headline inflation which includes food or core inflation which excludes food and fuel? Here's the interesting part. Episodes of food inflation don't always come from supply problems alone. In periods of economic expansion, food inflation can shoot up for completely different reasons. This is why some economists believe targeting headline inflation actually captures more real world dynamics. Another misconception on the article highlights is that individuals raising their spending automatically cause causes inflation. But as Milton Friedman explained long ago, inflation rises only when the overall supply of money increases faster than the economy's ability to absorb it. Now, what inflation level is ideal for India? Based on past data since 1991, the relationship between inflation and growth is non-linear. The RBI's analysis suggests that around 4% inflation is roughly optimal for India's growth part. But here's the twist. Some economists argue that as India's economy matures, we may need a lower inflation target. Other, others say even 4% may be too restrictive and that a slightly higher target might support growth better. So the debate remains open. What about the band 4% plus or minus 2%? The current band of 2% to 6% gives the RBI flexibility, but it is not a rigid rule. The priority is maintaining credibility and ensuring inflation expectations don't drift out of control. The article makes another crucial point. Inflation targeting only works effectively when the government maintains discipline on fiscal spending. If fiscal policy works against monetary policy, especially through um, excessive borrowing or monetization, inflation targeting becomes ineffective. And yes, India has been guilty of this in the past. India's flexible inflation targeting framework has broadly worked well. But whether we stick to the 4% target, shift it or tighten the band, decision will shape India's economic future for the next decade. So this is it for this news. Thank you.